Hi guys, thought I would do a little bit of live interaction in the beginning of my video while I show you the products I'll be using. So this is a Team Tiny uh, card hop and it's basically a bunch of um, tiny channels under a thousand subscribers banding together to share our, our videos with other people's audiences. So um, it helps the tiny channels grow. So we're going to be having a hashtag in the description that says Team Tiny First Ever because this is our first hop. So the theme is joy. So let's see what I can come up with. I got some fall papers here from Lawn Fawn. I might use that as a pro as a a paper. I don't know yet. We'll see. We will see. Then I have this oak tree scene die. I'm thinking I'll definitely use this. I have a, a paper in the pack that has a, a tree like texture to it. Uh, so there's that. I have, uh, it's all Hello Bluebird products of course because I went a little hog wild with the Halloween and fall Hello Bluebird release and there's a new one coming out at the end of this month so we'll see what happens with me with that because I just love Hello Bluebird stuff you know. Anyway, this one's called Pumpkin Time. has a little fox pushing a barrel. I don't think I'm going to use him necessarily, but I might use one of the sentiments. So, maybe a little mouse. Who knows? But um, I'm thinking that sentiment. Or I might pick one from here, but I, I'm thinking I'll probably pick her from here. And then uh, this one's called Leaf Play. Oh, sorry. That other sentiment stamp set was Banner Blessings. And then... <clears throat> This stamp set here is called Leaf Play, and I think I'll use these two, the bunny, I don't know, I might use them all. We'll see what size card I'm going to come up with. But I'm going to stamp them all out and color them. That's what I'm going to do for the afternoon is do some coloring. And then there's the squirrels from O Nuts, which I think is absolutely adorable. So, and then Banner Buddies. And I like this little raccoon. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna color. I'm gonna stamp them all out. Color them all up. I'll probably color more than I need, and then I'll probably make more than one card. But that is the plan. And uh, like I said, the theme is joy. So they'll be doing something fun and joyful. You know what I mean? Anyway, that uh, those are the products that I'll be using for today's video. I will try to leave some of the coloring in. Um, Probably for a couple of the images. I don't know how many images I'll leave in, but we'll see. All right. Stay tuned for the more sped up version, uh, the voiceover going forward from this point on. Okay. Bye now. Hello, everybody. I hope you liked that little intro I did live. Um, let's see. <clears throat> so I am using some E's. I'm using E44, E43, and E42, and then I will go in later on, which I don't do on camera, I don't believe. I added a little bit of um, E44 to stroke in the um, hair texture, so you get little um, hair texture, <laughs> not to repeat myself. I'll use a little bit of warm gray next for his skin. You know what? I should have probably looked it up, but I really don't know what a hedgehog color is. I just basically went by the colors I see other people color. I don't know what their colors are, but this is what I'm guessing the colors were. But uh, so I'm using warm gray <clears throat> six, I think, or seven. And then I skip every other. So if it's seven, it's five and then three. Okay, so it's it was six. Six, four, and one or five, four, and three. Good Lord, I can't talk. I can't think today. Five, three, and one. That's what it is. And then I go back in to make the contrast a little bit more deeper with a um, a six. So I'm also going to color my mole with warm grays as well. And I think I used warm gray seven. I'll use R20 on the cheeks and the ears. Yeah, I started with a warm gray seven on the mole. So I made him a little bit darker. So I hope my um, voiceover volume is much better than it was in the last video. I'm going to get a little closer to the mic because 
I was informed by one of my crafty friends that my volume was very low. They had to turn their computer up high. So please do let me know how my volume is. Uh, it sounds okay on my end. So I don't really know. I'm going by the, um, the gain now. So uh, I'm going by what other people said the volume should be at. And so that's what I'm aiming for. Hopefully it sounds that way when you hear it. Alright, so I'm going to use some E's. I'm using E9, E09, E07, and E0, E9, E08, and E07. And then I will go in with a little bit of YR18 to brighten it up a little bit more orangey. So yeah, I hope uh, everybody's having a good day. It is so dreary here. It's been dreary for two or three days. It rained all day Sunday. And it was, it looked like it was going to rain. The sun kept trying to come out yesterday, but it didn't. So I guess it's that time of year, huh? I really love fall, except I don't love it when it's like this. And and now, um, what, Friday, I think? No, Sunday. We turn the clocks back. Oh, then it's going to get dark like at, what, 4 o'clock? I really hate that. <laughs> and then in the morning, it's dark still. Because I get up like 5 o'clock or whatever. When the light comes, when it starts lightening up for the day. Um, at least that's what I've been doing for the last few months anyway. So if it doesn't get uh, lighten up until 637 I don't wake up till then. So yeah I really don't like that time change stuff. It's not fun. So I'm doing my um, YR18 now. I'm not really sure what color fox is, what color to color the fox. Um, I know that they're orangey red so I went with a little bit of both and then I'm using an E31 or E51 rather to uh, color the um, whitish part of the fur I already used warm gray so I didn't want to go with another warm gray so I tend to use a lot of warm gray I just like it it's a nice color so I assembled well I didn't assemble I cut all my um, images out and then I kind of figured out how I was going to place them on each card. Now, like I said in the beginning, I colored up enough images for four cards. So I spent about a day coloring. It was one of those days where you just don't want to do anything but color. That's what I did. So now I'm doing a little ink blending and I'm using Mode Lawn. And now I, I did go in with a little Lucky Clover to darken it up a little bit, but apparently I didn't show that part. And now I'm just doing my clouds with some tumble glass. And I'll go in with the uh, stormy gray, stormy sky, I mean, at the top. All right. So I'm taking my Gina K Connect Glue, gluing my panel down. And then I'll start assembling my card. <clears throat> so I hope my videos are improving now that I have a new computer, a new mic, new software, new everything. Hopefully, it, you know, it's probably not the, you know, gold standard yet, but <laughs> I'm working on it. So I'm learning it. So I'm, I'm every time I do a video, I, I find something neat to add to it, you know, different transitions or something of that nature. So hopefully uh, you'll notice that in this video. So I'm gluing my grass down. So I did a little combination of both gluing and using foam tape, depending on what I wanted dimensional. So I'll put the two branches on either side of the card. And I've seen so many cards like this, but you know what? I had the idea in my head right from the start of the C in the stamp set. And just because I've seen other people do the same thing don't mean I can't do it. <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about, that squirrel, uh, you'll see. The squirrel all looking fun having leaping into the pile of leaves. I used it, the squirrel from Oh Nuts rather than the squirrel that comes with this set because I just love the expression on his face and the joy. And since this um, blog, uh, no, video hop is themed joy, I thought this was a great stamp set for it. Or at least that squirrel was. I made this everything the scene around the squirrel having fun in the leaves with all his buddies. So yeah, just to bring up the the video hop, this is Team Tiny Video Hop, and it's just a bunch of us girls getting together, 
grouping up to uh, encourage each other and encourage uh, other people to watch um, our other Crafty Friends channels so we can uh, expose our audiences to other people and um, help their channels, help support each other's channels. It's for tiny channels, so under a thousand people. And then, um, yeah, so there'll be a hashtag in the description that says Team Tiny First hop right i think that's what it is <laughs> i'll have it in the description so you can click on it and it'll bring you to all the videos that are in this hop all right so that's how we went about doing it so <clears throat> like you see I, I put the squirrel in the pile having fun so i tried to make them a little bit different than everybody else's but like i said i seen a whole bunch of cards using the squirrel i don't know if he they use this specific squirrel, the one that came with the set, but jumping in the pile of leaves. So you see the videos and well, you see the previews and you know, at least one person's going to come up with an idea that's going to be like yours, or you're going to have one that's like theirs. You know what I mean? So, I mean, and, and that's okay. At first I'd be like, oh, that was my, I had that idea. I can't do that now. I'm like, why can't I? I had that idea. I mean, I'm just trying to do it differently. I'm not copying them. It was an idea I actually had in my head. So I try to variate it a little bit. I, even if I was straight up copying somebody else, it wouldn't be the same because when I get down to doing my cards, I always end up changing things around. So it never ends up being the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the inside with a uh, stamp, uh, sentiment from the stamp set, Band of Blessings. All right, and my um, outer stamp sentiment will be jump for joy because this is a joy themed hop and he looks like he's having fun don't he he's jumping for joy <laughs> so there you go here's all four of my cards i'll give you a little glimpse of each of them and as always the products i use will be listed in the description below as well as on my blog i will be doing a blog post for this and all my colors that I used Copic wise will be listed on the the and the supplies will be listed on that blog post all right so here's another close-up look I did like I do like to finish the inside of my cards and sometimes if I have extra images instead of stamping the image on the inside of the card I'll glue one of those colored images to the inside of the card as you saw and that's it Here's, the close -up pitch, here's some close-up pitches. I'm tongue-tied as usual. All right, look at that joyful face. Tell me he's not having fun. Well, now I hope you enjoyed these cards featuring the stamp sets from Hello Bluebird. And if you did, why not go ahead and give me a thumbs up? I'd appreciate your support. While you're at it, you could subscribe too. So go check out the Team Tiny First Ever. That is the hashtag. And go um, check out the other women in this crafty card hop and video hop and i hope you like their videos why not go ahead and give them thumbs up while you're at it all right i hope you're having a fantastic day and i will see you later bye bye now mm -hmm.